My name is Donald J. Trump, and I'm gonna show you exactly why you should vote for me. People ask the Don, how are you gonna make Mexico pay for the wall? How are you gonna deal with Russia or ISIS? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly what I would do if I was president. What we've got here is a classy state-of-the-art world simulator called Civilization V, and I'm gonna build a new nation from the ground up. And when the world sees how well I do, I'm pretty sure they're gonna want me to run the whole planet. I'm really rich. Look at this location, it's beautiful. We got a river, we got some marbles, some stones, some hills, and some trees. What more could you ask for to start a nation? It reminds me of that $25 million loan my dad gave me to start a business. Trump City, couldn't have named it better myself. And of course, the very first thing Trump City is gonna make is a monument to our own greatness. When people come to this city, the first thing they should understand is how great we are. Building a nation is a lot like building a brand. And speaking of brands, what capital city in early civilization would be complete without a Drumpf licensed castle? Don't worry about that signage there, that building is not yet structurally sound enough to hold its full weight. Let's head out inside and let's see how good the throne room looks. It's gonna be classy and beautiful, I guarantee it. Look at this, the contractors haven't even started. Let me restate, this is a licensed building. I sold the nation a license to put my name on the building. I didn't make this throne room. The drum friend does not guarantee viability or stability. But just look at that exterior. People are gonna wanna be partners and allies just looking at that sign. You know, once it's held up right. So these barbarians, I'm gonna just call out and call them ISIS, have come out of nowhere, violating our borders, burnt some of our farms to the ground. I'm gonna deal with this, America. It's not like it's the first troops on the ground invasion since the Revolutionary War, am I right? Oh, looky here, the media's finally getting it right. The world's most well-fed people. Obviously, it's America, because we work hard and we feed ourselves. Look at all these unmet losers. I'm clearly crushing it here. You want to know how Trump's going to deal with ISIS? Well, here it is. They may have our city surrounded on three sides, but they are clearly no longer on our border, and that's what really counts, am I right? No? Wait, who said that? Who said no? No, get the asshole out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Throw him out. Let's just get this over with. Oh, I'm sorry. Is America not worth your time? I'm Donald J. Trump, you classless hussy. You just burned a bridge you would have had to pay for me for anyway. Don't ever talk to me again, and don't let your dirty people near me. Oh, you don't like that? Well, how about this? I'm gonna tell every nation I meet that you're a loser, and I'm pretty sure they'll all thank me for warning them about you. Another media poll, and it looks like it's coming right off of Bernie Sanders' homepage. Oh look, my America is the least progressive country on the planet. This is baloney, the media is lying to you, and even if it isn't, America's already progressive enough. Do we really need to bend over backwards to make sure everyone is treated and paid equally? Come on, that's commie talk right there. So we're gonna send some settlers to make us another city. It's gonna be great, and it's not gonna have to deal with ISIS, cause it's gonna have its back to the sea. Drump Town, another perfect name. It's gonna be a great, classy, coastal city. It's gonna be a resort, really. We got some fish and some bison. Who doesn't like fish and bison? Now we got some discount brand Egypt Nation here. Who do you think you're fooling with this golden bull? And what's that book you got there, a great value Necronomicon? You got too much gold plating for your own good. Not classy, Assyria. My empire is puny. Is that a remark about my hands? My hands are gigantic. How dare you insult my pristine chiseled hands? I'm gonna sue the pants you're not wearing off of you. One of the most solemn duties as president is to make sure you're better than everyone else. And to do that, I'm gonna send my spies into my neighbor's country just to make sure they don't have any synthetic tanning technology that we don't already have. Guess what? More negative media. What a shocker. America is no longer the most well-fed country. You know, once we open up those libel laws, I'm gonna have a say in what the media prints about me. And even if we're not number one, so what? I mean, when was it the government's job to feed everybody? This is how we're gonna make America great again. This guy's gonna pay me five gold a turn for my marble. I mean, what's marble, right? Rocks? He's gonna pay me for unprocessed rocks. He's probably gonna make himself some more columns and gold cows, but what do I care? He's paying me money. We're such good friends with Assyria, I'm gonna make a town next to his border. I'm sure he's not gonna have a problem with it, cause we gotta just keep on taking for America. We need to grab this land before people snatch it up. What are you complaining about? Our borders aren't even touching. If it's not possible for me to expand without jeopardizing our friendship, maybe I should go see one of those other two chicks about selling my marbles. How about that? 
Hey, Lady Teresa, you wanna buy some- Whoa, 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 where is this coming from? You have your lady issues right now? I mean, I don't wanna be insensitive, but it looks like you got blood coming out of your eyes. And, you know, you're, you're wherever. Oh, you hear me over talk with Teresa or something? Are you two sticking together because you're friends, or are you just synced up? We're neighbors! How could you side with those two? We've done business together! Well, it's your loss, Assyria. No more of those precious marbles. I'd wish you good luck, but we've been building up our military. So welcome to the losing team. It's okay, America. We're gonna do just fine. These, these losers don't have the military it takes to deal with our forces. Well, that's unfortunate. Assyria may have greater numbers, trebuchet, and actual guns, but what we've got is the tactical advantage here. See, our swordsman is going to flank their rock throwers, and while their bullets are bouncing off the city, we're just going to pick them off. Oh, come on, rocks? Rocks is what's defeated Drumfield. Did you see how much damage those rocks did? On second thought, it was probably a really bad move just to sell them all my marble. That's okay, America. That was my plan all along. Now that they've weakened themselves on Drumfield, Drum City is gonna have no problem picking off what's left of their forces. Just you watch. We don't have victories anymore. We used to have victories, but we don't have them. Oh, here it is, the final kick while we're down. We're the most unhappy nation on the planet. Probably has to do with the fact that half our country's on fire, we're surrounded by people who want to kill us, and we're somehow hemorrhaging money in science. I don't even know how that last one is possible. So what, is this game trying to say that my leadership brought America to ruin? That this is my fault somehow? That's a lie. I bet Mr. Sander got his V from Vendetta Kids to hack my game and force the world to unanimously declare war on me. So here we are at the end, folks. Well, let me tell you something. I'm not taking this lying down. I'm going to sue Bernie Sanders. I'm going to sue Steam. I'm going to sue his little troop of Hugo Weavings. And if this video ever makes it to the light of day, I'm going to sue the stupid mook who was dumb enough to release it. You have been defeated. Your civilization has been overwhelmed by its many foes. But your people do not despair, for they know that one day you shall return and lead them forward to victory. Not likely. Not likely at all. Because after the world united against our country just because I was president, even though it only really took one country to tear us down, I don't think it's a good idea for me to be back. I don't think it's a good idea for the country for me to be back. I don't think it's good for the country for me to be to the presidency is what I'm saying, because the world will literally unite to tear us down. Don't vote me into the presidency is what I'm saying. Just don't vote for me. Hello Internet, my name is JoeBot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a laugh. I know I'd had a few making this April Fool's video. If you do like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're interested, I've got some Let's Plays that I do with my friend Spooky. And if you want to see any of those, just go ahead and hit the button. Probably not as good though when you're called Improv is hard. And I'm not actually funny at all. I'm just a fat guy with a computer. <laughs> Bye.